Let's see. Let's see if we can light this. Not interested in burning myself. Well, we got it. Somehow. It's all nice and drizzly out, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to have a cup of tea. Now, <clears throat> I have a lot of sketchbooks. The one I filled most recently is this one, the top one. Now, I started counting my sketchbooks uh, last year, and this was my first. And then this one was my second. This one's an ELO. And my third actually was this one, but I never put a picture of my character and Mariah on it. So I tend to like to keep them separate, separate but um, this technically is sketchbook number three. And then we have sketchbook number four. I like this cover the best. And of course, my latest. If you want to see these, in a sketchbook tour video. I'd be glad to show them, but this one is all about my newest. Yeah, that was louder than I meant it to be. Well, let's get started. The cover I made with watercolors, actually I have the paints, these beautiful things. Yeah, you can tell I use these a lot. Actually, one of my little siblings <laughs> mutilated that one, but I have more. Mozart, they're the Mozart Supplies watercolors. And this is my character, Amariah. She, I did her on watercolor, then I mod podged her onto this ELO sketchbook. So, let's get started. We have my sticker, a little sticker right here, keep moving forward, yeah, a little motivation. Don't stop drawing. Things to get better at, just a bunch of random words. I normally, in the entries of my sketchbooks, I like to have one of my characters, usually it is Amariah, and I have him at the beginning of um, a couple more of mine. We have Warriors of the King, which those are the books she's from. And then these are some illustrations I was trying to work on for a children's book I wrote. I still have not finished illustrating it because I did not like the way these turned out, so I kind of took a break. Well, somewhat of a break. I continue to draw more. <laughs> this is Rowan, my character. Again, this, again, this is watercolor. A little thumbnail scene, another one. This was about the time when I got my koi watercolors, which I do not have with me at present. This is Rowan's dress, her outfit. You saw her colors right here. I had recently got a color erase pencil, the Prismacolor color erase pencil, and so I was really excited about that, and so I did a bunch of colored pencil sketches. And I like to add color in the background of certain sketches and sometimes even color some because I feel like it adds more contrast. Oh, thank you. My sister got this for me. This is the Koi watercolor set and it's what I am using throughout this sketchbook. This is a spread for a painting that I was going to make to enter in a contest. And right here I was trying to work on the pose I was thinking it was going to be vintage, and then after drawing this, I decided to go with a medieval look. This is just a random doodle. But here's some sketches I made at an event. I normally don't draw in public, but I was when I drew these, I was really proud of them. I thought, you know what, these aren't bad for sketches drawn out in public. As you can see, they are a little more messy and rough than sketches I draw at home. This is a digital piece right here. Lucy Pevensey from Narnia. She's not drawn in a semi-realistic style, so it doesn't look exactly like her. And this is the sketch that I started with. It was a digital painting study. And these are with uh, my Prismacolor coloring pencils here. Um, yeah, I did some sketches with colored pencil here and I realized I, I really liked doing that but then then i went to sketching with pen no this is not the mona lisa everyone thinks <laughs> everyone thinks it's the mona lisa no it's um i think it's called girl with unicorn but i could be wrong by Raphael italian 1505 yeah i did that for school i was supposed to draw it in my own style and these are some pen doodly sketches with this one, actually, I sketched this, and then I used a alcohol-based marker, the Ohuhu alcohol-based marker, and I went over certain areas, and it activated the pen, 
and made it uh, wet so I could, I don't know, well obviously that's what it did. More pen sketches. Uh, this one was my favorite. This one used to be my, this used to be my favorite profile ever. And then, well, <laughs> this was my favorite pen sketch in here because I just, I really liked the contrast and all, however, uh, the, I did a marker illustration behind it, so, I'm, excuse me, I'm gonna mute this, guys, this, okay, <laughs> yeah, that was necessary, marker illustration, beware, yeah, EO sketchbooks, the markers do tend to show through, so I, I did use them more in the beginning of the sketchbook, but then I switched to watercolors because they don't bleed. However, they do wrinkle the page a little bit, but I'd rather it wrinkle the page a little than to have it kind of bleed through. More pen sketches. Um, I didn't like the way these pen sketches turned out, so I kind of drifted back into my graphite here. This was also a, little, a school project from last year. And... You may recognize this. I did a video on it. This was a redraw from some old illustration. And then I, I tried to draw my character again here. I never named her, but she's from a YouTube video, an earlier one, a, a character design one. And I didn't like the way her design, her face was looking, so I tried to draw, draw her again here. Again, I don't even like how those really look. And at the time, I didn't know what was making them look so eh, but I, see, I look at them now, I'm like, I know exactly what's wrong with them. I drew this as a redraw as well, sort of redraw. I was I didn't even see the old original piece, so I didn't exactly know where it looked like. I look back, and while it kind of resembles it, it's not identical. So, that's that. I was trying to play with values, and again, the koi watercolors. I was sketching, and I really, I decided to give her this weird hairstyle I found somewhere online. Well, it was my memory of a hairstyle. And I changed it up a little bit, and I really liked the way it was looking, so I drew it again. And then, I decided, you know what, Let, let's let's give this character an outfit. And then, she's kind of turned into one of my OCs. Her name is Athelda, and she is half dwarf, half elf. And the heir to two different thrones, a dwarf kingdom and an elf kingdom. And she's not wanted by either kingdoms because the elves and the dwarves don't like each other. <laughs> Sound familiar? No. Okay. Lady Verity, another character I designed, only this one is actually based off of one of my friends. She used to have very, very long, thick hair, and then she cut it. Yeah, I, I decided, yeah, I'm not going to cut my character's braid. Maybe sometime in the book, but I'm going to keep it long because that's one of her most iconic features is her really long, long hair. And then these are some colored pencil sketches. Again, this is kind of a redraw, somewhat. This was a practice drawing for a tutorial I was gonna do on how I draw faces. And I kind of wish I had actually used this for the tutorial because I did not like how the actual face in the video turned out. But, you know, I can always do an upgrade in another year or so. Here's my character, Jane. I did a YouTube video coloring her digitally. Some more sketches of her. A little thumbnail of a scene I thought I'd like to put her in. I was really into drawing profiles then because I found... I don't know how... I, I found this new method. Kind of actually invented it. So... And I really, I really like how it was turning out, so I couldn't stop drawing faces in profile. So, and then all my three-quarter views were slowly like, <laughs> yeah, you can do better than this. Exactly. That's what it says. I like this one for some reason. My sister really likes this one. Um, it's a random illustration. I was drawing a face, and then I just decided to draw a guy, and then I decided to draw a girl. I'm like, oh. Let's create something out of this. So they're kind of in like a, a banquet slash ballroom thing. This was an idea for a card to put on the front of like a thank you card or something like that. I had lots of fun with this, designing my own OC cards. I looked up tutorials on how to do this and I liked everyone else's. I'm like, how do I design an OC now? Or how do I design a trading card now? 
with a design that doesn't look like theirs. I mean, my character wouldn't look like their design, but I'm talking about like the style of the card box shape and what you put them on. And as I was sketching it out, I came up with something very unique to myself, and I was pretty excited about that. Oh, my two characters, Sir Asher and Alexa, I love these. I wrote their entire story, uh, just needs edited. I almost finished the second draft, uh, like over 3,000 words, and then, well, sad ending. Uh, it all got deleted somehow. A little discouraging. I haven't, I didn't ever picked it up for like uh, months afterwards. And I've drawn little bits and pieces in it. Oh, sorry. I've written little bits and pieces in it. But uh, I actually need to sit down and do it. I've just been busy lately. Yep, yeah, bunch of eye practices. I decided to draw a bunch of eyes and then I realized something wasn't right with the way I was drawing eyes. And I didn't know what until I found a picture somewhere online. I know. Social media is so helpful. I do this at a lake. It's my swimsuit. I like it. However, my swim top is not that pretty red. My swim top is a neon red, which isn't like that pretty. But these are these are my two favorite colors together. More sketches of three-quarter views. Never added their eyes. Wasn't going to. So <laughs> I wanted a purple aesthetic here. My sister really likes this one because it's her favorite color. I, okay, so this dress here, I have this dress, only it's not purple, it's white, because it's a bridal gown. <laughs> I found it at a thrift store for $5. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's true. They were trying to get rid of it for months, and um, it was almost, usually, it used to almost be $100, and then they marked it down so that someone would buy it. I just so happened to be that person. We have Ethelda again in her dress. I finally figured it out. In fact, I actually have this exact dress design, only Ethelda's is red and mine's a navy blue, but the place that I got my dress from, there was also a red dress, so I thought that was kind of neat. Yes, this is when I realized what I was doing wrong with my eyes, and honestly, I can still see stuff that's wrong about them, but you know, you improve over time, that's just how it works. Some character designs, we have Ethelda. Her stepbrother, her, her father, um, her stepsister, and her stepmother. And me designing my profile photo for my Instagram and YouTube. I was gonna do my character Arwen, then I decided to go with just a picture of me. I like how this one turned out, but I don't really care for how the actual one, my actual, the actual art piece that I used turned out. Um, I'll probably do an another one in the next couple months or so, but we'll see. Oh yes, here's where I pick up um, the mechanical pencil again. I liked it at first, and then I started to get lazy again. And yeah, this is me trying to force myself to create something I like. But um, This is a thumbnail for a contest I entered. The art piece is back here. It's a Ohuhu marker illustration. So I was supposed to draw my, one of my OCs with um, the other artist's OC. This is Jane again. Her outfit's colored here and they're at a party together. So yes, I was very lazy here. This is another one of my friend's characters and I like the way they described him. So I just decided to draw him. Yeah, in pen. I know. Horrible idea. I already can't really draw guys, so why would I go and draw them in pen when I can't race? That's why it says horrible, in case you're wondering. Oh, by the way, this. Mm -hmm. It's, uh... I can never think of the word when I need it. You know what I mean. There are metallic paints on that. Okay. Then I used a reference for this. Yes, this is... This is not mine. Uh, Svan Hart. Instagram account. Yes. And then... Yeah, I was struggling with anatomy, or at least I felt like I was, and so I decided to do something about it. And then this one, I did not copy. Um, I used the information I got from this one and kind of tried my own. This one obviously looks uh, nicer. <laughs> yeah, this is me just desperately trying to fill a page. And this is Athelda in her 
more dwarf attire, I should say. Um, I like how this one turned out. Her arm is kind of like, if you know what I mean, but it's okay. Watercolor eyes, because I didn't know what else to do. Uh, trying to design a character, capture a certain emotion in it. The only sketches I really liked were some of this one, so I tried to make him stand out more. <laughs> Which, I don't know if that helped. Oh yes, I like this page. We have a girl on a swing, obviously. I think you guys can tell. I assume you have eyes that can see. Then we have an archeress and someone trying to do their hair. So these two references I found online and this one I took myself. This is some concept art from my books, Rescue at Silver Cliffs, which um, the characters, I know there's a rope hanging over the edge. You can probably guess what happened. Then we have a little scene here, which I never did color. Went back into sketching with pen for a little bit. Didn't like how they turned out. It was mostly because I was being lazy. I didn't want to take my time, but coloring them helped. So, by the way, this is all with watercolor, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I, mi I mixed some black with a little, with a little blue to give a certain blue tint, but yes. I drew this. I felt like there was something wrong with the way she looked. So I tried another profile photo, picture, whatever. I like how this one turned out better. And then we have this middle picture that I drew on a short trip I took with some cousins. Yeah. And more art from that trip. This is me feeling completely bored. So what do I do? I draw circles. Why? The circles satisfy me and they inspire me. So <laughs> I like drawing sh circles and shapes. Um, you have that Lady Verity again. I was gonna paint her. If I do paint her now, I'm gonna transfer onto watercolor paper somehow. And then a weird little thumbnail of someone drawing on their bed. Okay, yes, I sketched all this with Colored pencil, a black colored pencil. This is the only one I colored. I don't know what I was thinking there, okay. This is an illustration for one of the books I'm writing, Play By Ear. I started it years ago, but um, yeah. She is falling asleep and she's contemplating at the same time. But I'm not gonna read you what's happening, otherwise that would spoil it, as if I'm actually gonna publish it one day. <clears throat> oh, I did a YouTube video on this. I was feeling a lack of inspiration that day, so pretty much what I did was force stuff from me. This is what it looks like when I try and force inspiration from me. It doesn't really work very well. By the time I got to the end of the spread, it was doing, it was going a lot better though, so. It turned out nicely. Okay. I did this one with black colored pencil, because it had been a while since I had sketched with um, graphite. And I just wasn't feeling the graphite, but I like the way it looks because it looks nice and dark and stuff. And I decided I could get that look with a black colored pencil. In fact, I could probably get an even dark, even darker shades and contrast with a black colored pencil. So that's what I did with that one. I like the way it turned out. And then we have my character Arwen in her full attire. Her dress used when I first designed her dress. Her dress actually trailed out around like a had like a train. And I kind of trimmed it. <laughs> Just kind of, nobody goes on an adventure with something like that. Yes, pen sketch. Well, actually, I lined it with pen. I drew it with colored pencil, and then these are a bunch of, yeah. More colored pencil sketches. This is a dress for a character I designed in, for one of my books, one of my more modern characters. I kind of like the way this profile uh, turned out. Um, designs for a meet the artist thing I want to do eventually. Um, kind of drawing out what I carry with me in my bag. I didn't know if I wanted my satchel or this bag because I, I kind of use both regularly. But um, we'll see if I end up doing that. And these are just 
weird. Ideas for how to draw a book. We have materials, color theory, choosing references, cropping and format, contrast, and sketching. Yeah, never finished that. I decided to actually draw something. This is a dress I own with my sister. The blouse actually is separate with it, but I prefer to wear the blouse with it. It's not actually the shade of blue, but, you know, like I care, so long as it's blue. Yes, more colored pencil sketches. This was with the Prismacolor color raised pencil. I drew a cowboy here. I actually took a picture on a trip of myself standing on this overhang cliff thing. And I decided to use it as reference, but instead of drawing <laughs> me, I drew a cowboy. <laughs> um, profile. Actually, this I used the exact same reference for that as I did for this. So, and we have this. I decided to draw another overhang cliff picture, only with a girl that time. Then I decided to draw an elf gypsy, or a gypsy elf, something like that. Uh, the way her, her facial proportions didn't really turn out as great as I had hoped. Um, some random people sketches. Yes, I like the spread. So we have, can you guess who this is? Guesses? Guesses? No? Okay. Legolas. Mm -hmm. From The Lord of the Rings. And then this is my character, Emariah. I know. She, normally, she, I've drawn her in this outfit. But I've recently figured out what book two is going to be about. And in book two, she has this outfit, at least for a time. And then we have one of my characters from that book. Um, no, he does not have a name. But uh, I liked the way this gets turned out. Um, also another character from those books. This gal does have a name. It's uh, Haley. Lady Haley. This is a sketch that didn't turn out. This is a sketch of... One of my dresses that I own, it's a vintage dress. It actually has a floral design on it, but I was too lazy to put that on that one. So these two are redraws, no three, all three of these are redraws. Um, I have pictures of them. I originally drew the, I drew the original ones all on the same paper. So I thought I'd just draw all three of these on the same paper again. Yeah, this is me struggling through another spread. Um, this one is the only one that kind of really turned out, which is, was a surprise to me because I drew it out in public. Like I've said before, I can't draw out in public very well, but a little Merida doodle sketch. This was a redraw. Uh, the original that I did was a quick sketch too, and um, that one I never thought turned out, and I'm having the same feelings about this one, so. I, I used a reference for this, but <laughs> That's why I did not draw foreshortening. Look at that arm. I'll go at it again. Actually, I did go at it again. <laughs> More foreshortening. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. So then we have Jane at her coffee shop place where she works. And then Amariah again, book two. And then we have a, uh, I was really liking this hairstyle that I did. So, vintage. I managed to do it on myself, and I'm like, ooh, I want to draw this now. So this, I did a YouTube video on, um, about the supplies I use in my sketchbook. And this is a sketch of actually myself in, yeah, one of my outfits. I really like the coat here. It's a vintage, it's a black vintage coat. It is the warmest coat I have ever owned. So then we have Lady Amber, and again from the same <laughs> trilogy or books as um, and Mariah, and uh, I have a lot of characters for that trilogy and series. Yeah, I was too lazy to think of what to draw, so I used other people's inspiration. I wish I knew the artist's name for this, but um, I copied this and I used something as, as inspiration for this. And then we have kind of, Fan art, um, there's a gal on Instagram, Storm of, Th Storm of Thieves. Um, this is her character, Rael, and she actually, she doesn't draw her characters, but she takes pictures of herself dressed up as them. And I, her place is wonderful for finding references for stuff like this. So I drew her with my character, Emariah, <laughs> the horses. 
I always draw the horse too small compared to the people. This is also Rayelle, her character. Here I was trying to practice my facial anatomy because I hadn't done three quarter views in a long time. And there's a reason I wasn't because I feel like all of them that I was drawing weren't looking that great. <laughs> First attempt, second attempt. I like my second attempt. Third attempt. <laughs> I drew this and then I was puzzled as to how I was able to get that. So I tried again. And then I tried again. I like that one. And this one didn't turn out that bad either. And then the next day I try again. Yeah, none of these really turned out. I mean, I, I kind of like that one. But uh, yeah, I take notes next to the, my art. Face comes out too far. Better, but not good enough. So This was... I was attempting another style, which... This artist, the artist that draws in this style, nails it perfectly. She's on Instagram. It's called Smoost Art, I think. But um, I was unable to capture the same <laughs> um, prettiness about it. She manages to do it so well. This is a character I based off of someone as well. Her name is Ren. And her outfit's actually purple. I never colored her. I... I might though. This also is fan art for someone, for an artist's OC on Instagram. It's Elise's Heart of Art. This is her character, Meredith. And then we have the last page. I normally do a portrait for the last page because in my last Eel sketchbook I did a portrait. And so I thought I'd keep up a tradition. I don't know if I'll do it next time, but here it is. And yes, I got in, back into drawing with uh, graphite again, so that is the end of that, and honestly, I don't think there's much of anything in here except for, yeah, that a friend colored this, and then this was, um, so I drew this, and then I printed out some copies, and my friend wanted to color one. This is... One of my stickers, and this is something one of my friends made me many, many years ago. So, that's about it. So, I honestly love the Euro sketchbook. There's something about the way the spread is filled. Like, I can draw across it. I mean, obviously, I didn't draw across it this time. Right here, I can, like, draw in the center. I feel like it has a really neat aesthetic to it. So, and I'm really excited to start my next sketchbook. I wasn't originally proud of this <laughs> little thing here because my book four sketchbook, that front cover ended up looking way nicer. I mean, the, the, nat the anatomy isn't as good, but I feel like the colors uh, and everything turned out way better and the cropping as well. Next time I'm probably gonna do it in a similar cropping and not just for standing up, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye! See if I can, like, like. There we go.